Hey, this is Rob, and I just want to show you how you might uh, make a 3D kind of extrusion of a floor plan. Um, this isn't really to be super accurate, like for architecture or anything, but it could be. This is really just to kind of visualize something from a 2D drawing. So the first thing I do is go to the Insert menu and choose Attached Canvas. And then I could select the face that I want to put it on. I'll just choose the top plane. And for the image, I'll select a uh, floor plan that I got from the internet. Uh, I'll choose display through. That's normally handy here so that we can see it through whatever we're drawing. And then um, that's about it. I'll hit OK. There it is. And uh, the first thing I want to do is calibrate it. So it has some dimensions on it and that's going to be useful. Uh, since it's all in feet, I might change my units to feet to start out with. And uh, then I'll right click on that canvas in the browser and choose calibrate. So I know that this dimension here is supposed to be from that point to that point. Well, that's a bit of a problem because it's at an angle. So let me try that again. I'll right click here, choose calibrate, and I'll just choose right here from this point to, let's say, uh, this point out here. I could get a lot closer and it would be more accurate, but in this case, it's fine. I'll just put seven feet since that's what it says the dimension should be. And I'll just hit enter and I can hit F6 to zoom out. And that should be it. This should be at the right scale now. So the next thing I'll do is create a sketch on that top work plane and start drawing this thing out. So I've completed a profile. You can see it's changed colors here. Uh, I'll hit stop sketch. But actually, before I do that, let me hit escape, choose dimension, and just choose some other dimension like this one and see if it looks right. So 3.5301, that's about three and a half feet, which looks like it's going to work. So I'll hit stop sketch, and I should be able to hide the canvas at this point and see the profile that I made. And what I can do here is just extrude choose that profile and then drag it up to whatever eight feet and hit OK so now I've got my little room and I could put a floor in there somehow I could add uh, some furniture in there or whatever maybe I could render it using the render workspace uh, but that's that's a way to get started making uh, something that looks like a 3d version of a 2d floor plan drawing